Hi friends, welcome back to The Classy Mommy. I'm Brittany and I'm glad you're here. In today's video, I wanna share with you my top five reasons why I dress up at work. All right, number one, respect for myself. I feel like when I put my best foot forward, it helps me become a little bit more organized and put together for the day. Even if my morning isn't going as planned, even if I'm having a hard time getting out the morning with my two wonderful children, it helps me tackle the day head on because if I'm put together, then I know I can take whatever the day has for me. Number two, respect from others. I wanna share a story with you. When I was in college, I got hired on at the mall in a store as a manager. I had never been part of the retail store before, so I was coming into a meeting, being introduced to all these staff members and employees as a new manager. I was a little bit scared and didn't know what to expect. My fellow managers who hired me on told me to, to wear all black to our first meeting. So not knowing what the dress code was or what to expect, I went out and I bought a black pencil skirt, a black tailored suit jacket, a black blouse, a black um, pair of stiletto pointed high heels, and I was feeling like a million bucks. Well, I showed up to the staff meeting. Turns out the staff meeting was quite casual and my fellow coworkers were dressed very, very casually. However, still in black like I'd been told, but I was definitely sticking out like a sore thumb. Later on, some um, coworkers I got to know better told me that when they first met me, they didn't know what to expect. They thought that maybe the store was in trouble and I was being sent to them from, head from the corporate headquarters, which was not the case at all. I just didn't know how to dress for the situation. I later tempered down my dress so I fit in with the culture there really well. But my point is, when you present yourself in a really put together way, even if it was a little overdressed like I was in that scenario, it still shows others that you respect yourself and in turn, they will respect you more as well. Number three, respect for my students. I really do feel that me dressing just a little bit elevated shows my students I care about them and what we're doing at school is really important. Also, I believe it sends the message to each of my students that they are important to me, that they're worth me taking the extra time to dress up and do my best for them. Number four, Respect from parents. Now, I know it's not always true to judge a book by its cover, absolutely not. And we all get our days where we have a messy bun, maybe we're sick, we're not feeling the best, baby threw up on us this morning, you know, you've probably been there too. But for the most point, if you make it part of your routine to just dress a little bit more elevated, classy, put together, I really do feel like parents' perception of you is that you're gonna be, as you present yourself, put together, organized, streamlined, knowledgeable, excited to be there, passionate about taking care of their amazing children while you're with them during the day. And number five, we've heard it a million times, but I really do feel like you are what you wear. A couple tips to my fellow educators, if you're just starting out as a teacher or maybe if you've been teaching for a while, just keep in mind we're working with children or even if you're working in a middle school or high school, make sure what you put on the outside is approachable by students. Don't create a social barrier that you are so dressy that you're not approachable. So be approachable. I have noticed, well, I'll tell you a funny story. My first year teaching, I had no idea what to expect. I had student taught in a really ritzy upscale school in a very posh community where it was very normal for teachers to wear very um, form-fitting clothes, very, very professional, very tailored, pencil skirts, blouses, high heels, the whole works. My first teaching job, however, was at a very small rural farming community. And when I showed up my first couple of weeks of school, I noticed, again, I stuck out like a sore thumb, not in a good way. I feel like it did create a little bit of social separatism where I wasn't becoming part of the community as I could have been. So when you start your first teaching job, or even if you're in a new school district like I was last year, just look around and see what's your administrator wearing? What are your co-teachers wearing? What are the other teachers who are in your grade level or in your subject? matter wearing? What are people wearing that just carry themselves with a lot of respect around the school building? You don't want to overdress so that you create that separatism from everybody else. You know, we want to be a part of the team and be a team player, but I would really suggest elevate yourself just a little bit. At that, that first school I was at, I noticed that I was really overdressed and then the students don't know how to respond to me. Even though I feel like I was putting my best foot forward, I felt like it created a kind of an awkward, they didn't know how to relate to me. So I quickly realized that was not the social norm at that school, which is completely fine. Every school, 
every community can be very different and that's still fine. So I tailored down my dress a little bit and I noticed that my students started responding to me even more and my fellow teachers warmed up to me almost instantly. Another note about teacher dress. If you can have a malfunction, it's probably gonna happen because we're working with children, right? Or even if you're in middle school or high school, just make sure that you're always appropriately covered at all times. My roll is really all the way to the end of my fingertips and my arms are so long. So that's practically to my knees, just an inch above. Another note, make sure your decolletage is completely covered because showing anything up here at school is never appropriate. If you have anything to add to the conversation or any funny stories about your experiences in school with um, what you've worn or anything that you've noticed that you think would help uh, the community of teachers be able to dress professionally at their school buildings, please uh, comment down below and let the rest of us know. Thanks for watching.